Hey, what's up, Smacker Squad? Haven't seen you guys in a minute. I went into my storage and just was popping out my videos that I had in storage. But you guys, tonight we're going to be doing a seafood pasta, a Cajun seafood pasta. You guys, I'm going to do it a little different this time. My first video, the sound wasn't quite right. So I'm coming back on here and I can't, of course, do the same video. So I put a little twist and we're going to do a Cajun pasta, you guys, with salmon. And contrary to what it sounds like, it's salmon tastes so good in um, this pasta. I mean, I tried it at a restaurant and it was really good. So I came home and I perfected the recipe. And you guys, today is today. You guys, I don't know when this video is going to air, but it is like the third game for the Ravens. So tonight, I'm bonding with my son over this pasta, you guys. So it's a special dish in Mama T's house tonight. So hang on and go for this ride. You guys, we're going to be making the sauce from scratch. But I also do cook with the jar. But to me, once you uh, transcend over to scratch and see how easy it is, you guys, I think you'll try it too. So come on in this kitchen with me. Get in here, you guys. Stay tuned. Hold on. And let's go over these secrets, you guys. We're going to go on to the other side and we're going to go over the ingredients quick and we're going to get started. This is going to be a quick meal. I've already rinsed clean wash my hands and everything and I don't want to make the video long so I took everything out so I'm ready to roll okay you guys we are ready to roll we're gonna go over these uh, ingredients very quickly we have the butter we have the heavy whipping cream you guys and that will be for the base of the sauce we have panini noodles we have accent we have uh, garlic, oregano, onion powder, Cajun spice, of course, which is the grand pooper of this recipe, you guys. We have seasoned salt back here. We have uh, parsley fakes for decoration. Old Bay, of course, is another grand pooper. So, you guys, I'm going to move these up here because this is going to be the base of this recipe you guys the panini noodles or panne however you want to call them all right here and I used to use fettuccine I use whatever I kind of have in the house but I really like these so we're gonna get started right now okay you guys so I'm back and we have our nice salmon flat fillets right here skinless I had them take the back of the skin off and so what we're going to do we're going to start with a little olive oil and we're just going to put a couple dots on each fillet and we're going to rub it massage it all over and the reason why we do this is so that we can bind our seasonings to these nice um, filleted salmon we're going to um, stove sear them. We're going to stove top sear them. We're not put them in the oven. And as you guys know, or some of you may not know, um, salmon doesn't take that long to cook. And a lot of people, uh, sometimes I guess the beginning of when I um, started eating salmon, overcooked it. And I didn't really like it because it was dry. We're going to start. We're going to do pepper on this salmon and we're just going to give it a light dusting that's what I call it um onion powder now for me this going to be the grand puba of this recipe I do love and it's just me you guys I love um, seasoned salt on salmon, accent, or whatever. And we're going to turn it over and we're going to season the other side heavy because we're going to be cooking this on a heavy temperature. I mean, a high temperature, excuse me. So, 
this is the Cajun seasoning. So this is the Grand Poopa. And on my channel, the Grand Poopa just means heavy seasoning. You want to go in heavy with this. But as I say in any of my recipes, if you don't like hot and you don't like heat, you don't have to use so much of the Cajun. I love it. So as you can see, I poured it on. This is also a top secret, the Creole. You want Creole seasoning on here. It's a very strong taste. And we're putting that on there. We're not doing any salt on, the, on this recipe because all of these seasonings have high salt in them. So you don't want to add salt on salt on salt on salt. That was Obey. And we have, of course, our garlic which is not going to hold too much place in the salmon at all. I want to add some pepper, black pepper on there. So, we'll pipe me out of that pepper. And um, we pretty much, we have our salmon um, seasoned and ready to go for when we sear it. So we're going to move over to the shrimp and the crab meat. We're going to um, saute and season those. And we'll be right back. Okay, you guys. I'm back. And we're going to turn this stove down a little bit. We're on a high, high flame. And we're going to put, I put a little bit of olive oil in the pot this is my big red you guys this is my sauce pot and this is my famous pasta pot that i use and we have uh my green pot over here it's filled with water i um, getting ready for the pasta i want to bring this to you guys i have the crab meat and i have the shrimp ready to season and put in the pot for this dish, you guys, I use this type of crab meat. It's inexpensive, and it goes well in here because this crab meat has a little different taste than Merlin crab meat. It's inexpensive, but it serves well in here because this is a high-season, creamy dish, so you don't have to really go all out with your crab meat. I'm going to take these shrimps and drop it in the pan over here, and in a few seconds, you guys, I'm going to bring the camera over so you can see me season and um, saute the uh, the meal okay you guys so we're over here and you know shrimp doesn't take that long. So what we're doing right now is seasoning the shrimp. Now some might think I could just throw that in the sauce. And you really could. But for the smackers, you guys, I never do. Because I know that you get a, a better taste out of your pasta. If for one, you make sure that meat is seasoned and it's go all the way through. I taste it when people just steam the shrimp and throw it in the pasta it has like a, a a taste it still can be good but it's not to me gonna be great always if you want to go the extra mile if you don't feel like it that's something different but if you want your dish to be delicious this is like the extra step where I season and I cook my shrimp and let the seasoning, the heat opens it up and it penetrates the shrimp. So you don't have to necessarily cook these shrimps all the way down. We're just searing them a little bit because we're going to take them out and we're going to do the roux. We have our water right here on in this pot right here. It's doing nothing. I put a little salt. A little butter in the um the pasta pot, so that's doing nothing. 
when I put these shrimp in the sauce, I'm just going to be heating it up. I won't be cooking it again. But it will be fully seasoned. So I'm going to put Cajun. This is the Cajun seasoning. And I put Creole and Obey. And that's enough to season the, uh, the shrimp. When this shrimp is almost done, I'm going to drop the crab meat in. And I'm going to drop the crab meat in because once I mix it together, it's going to automatically season the crab meat. The shrimp is already pink, you guys. It's already open up. So... Now I'm going to take my tray that I had everything on and we just going to go in with this crab meat. Now on this same tray I'm going to transfer once it gets done and just set it to the side and then I'll show you how to make the roux. The sauce. The sauce, you guys. From scratch. And we're going to put a little pepper on that crab meat. And we're going to put Creole now on the crab meat. Now I held out to use this Creole. So I can hit everything with the Creole. And there you go. And there you have it. Now in your house, if you don't like Cajun, or somebody don't like Cajun, when you make the sauce, you can actually split it. And here we're eating Cajun tonight. So this is a Cajun seafood pasta dish. And all you want to do is just let that cook for a minute, you guys. I'm not going to hold you guys up, but I want you to stay on this train because we almost done here. And we're going to pan sear our uh, salmon. And we're going to plate this up, you guys. And possibly, just might, my sons might just do a mukbang. But I'm not sure. Um, but you guys... I'm back, and I'm going to try to bring you guys deliver delicious recipes. So, you guys, if you watch the channel, please subscribe, like, and share. Help me out here. I want to stay doing this. I enjoy it. I love bonding families together over food, you guys. So, stay tuned. Keep your ears open, your eyes open, and hang in there with your girl, Mama T, back in this kitchen. Okay, you guys, we're back. And what I've done is put a, a, like a stick and a half of butter in the pan. And we're going to get that um, melted all down. Stir that around. And we have this what I'm using today, heavy whipping cream. This normally is the brand at Harvest Fair, but I have used other brands before. And we're going to get that on in there and let that get thick. We're going to add um, garlic, heavy, and 
iron powder heavy we're going to whisk it going around it's liquefied now as the butter melt and you whisk it we're going to add the cheese Parmesan cheese, Italian cheese, and we're going to let it thicken up. Our noodles is about to come to a boil. I haven't added them in yet, but we're getting ready to, I'm going to come back and I'm going to add the noodles in and let the noodles get done. Be right back. Okay, you guys, so my sauce is thickening up, and so we're going to put this Italian cheese blend in there, and the, Parmes the, the Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. And you put how thick and creamy rich you want it to be. Also, you guys, if you want your sauce to be thicker, I put two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch in the recipe. So, I'm making the um, fettuccine sauce right now and I'm getting ready to season it. I turn um, the flame down, but you don't want to burn it, but you do want to cook it because you got to make sure you cook it and whipping that cornstarch out. So we're going to keep stirring. The pasta is getting ready, you guys, and we'll be back. I just take a whisk and you just keep going around moving it because you don't, you want it to cook and you want to make sure that cornstarch and you want to make sure your cheese is melted. And I'm getting ready to season back this uh, this sauce, which is a white, called a blonde roux. So you guys, it's getting pretty thick, as you can see. If you make it too thick, you can thin it out with milk. If you want it thicker, you can use a cornstarch slur. Put a little cold water, whip up some cornstarch, and pour it in, and then cook to the desired um, thickness. So, you guys, we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so we're back rolling. I pulled this pot over because our penne noodles is in here. We have our sauce, you guys. And what I took the liberty of doing is I seasoned it to my taste because depending on how much you make, that's how you alter your season. I went in, baby. Hmm. This sauce will make you smack your grandmother, your mother, and whoever else, baby. This sauce is on and popping and very simple. So, we're getting ready to sear our salmon. And when these noodles get done, I'm going to put a little seasoning on these, rinse them, put a little butter, a little season, not a lot, but enough to give the noodle also some flavor too. Because, again, you can rinse them and throw them right in there, but it has a more better taste. When you put a little butter on the noodles, put a little seasoning on the noodles, and then add them in here. And everything is seasoned and layered to perfection, you guys. So, we're getting the noodles done. I kind of use a smaller pot than I should have. But guess what? I always say, a good cook improvises. So, that's what we're doing here. Noodles is almost done. I tested one. 
I have to keep moving them only because I use a small pot. But we'll be back to see the salmon and put this meal together, you guys, and plate it. And we're going to be ready for what? Game time. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Okay, you guys. I rinse the pasta. I season it. Put butter on the pasta. Let the flavor go all the way through. And I want you to see this pasta, baby. Creamy. Delicious. Meanwhile, I have our little grill pan here. Our sear pan. On the fire. High fire, you guys. Because you just want your salmon to like crisp up and you want to pan sear it and so i bought this pot closer you guys so you can just see hang out and see what's going on and i'm gonna put this on a slow simmer just so everything is in there and it meshes well i'm going to taste it again because you guys every step in every part of the process i taste my food because Depending on how much you're making, this is a box and a half of penne noodles. Um, and I've been doing this a while in my pot. And that's why I name my pots because every time I do the dish, I use the same pot. Because the measurements are the same. So, it's easy for me. And I suggest if you cook a lot, most cooks, they use the same pot because you already know where to measure stuff without using a measuring cup. So, I kind of know my big red and all my um, dishes. I'm going to um, put the fillets in and start searing the fillets. I'm using olive oil, but butter to me gives it a better crisp. So, we're going to put that in there and we're going to just let this hang out. We're not going to bother that so it can get its proper seal on. I'm going to get another spoon out of here. Only because I'm on camera, you guys, because I'll be tasting this food, please. And I'm going to see if this. Mm -mm. If it needs anything. Now I use Cajun Spice. This Cajun Spice right here. But me, I would want it a little hotter. Cajun. So I'm going to put a little bit more Cajun in here. And just a tad bit of Obey. And that should like be the trick. And for me, I just do a light dusting. Because once you add the noodles, after I tasted the sauce, the sauce was perfect. But every time you add something, you have to go back and taste. Because when you add, that means it takes away. So, this dish right here, our main dish, is done, you guys. I'm going to be plating this with some spinach. I'm not going to show the spinach because, again, you guys, I have um, done a spinach tutorial. Please check that out. I have done a greens tutorial. Um, potato salad, the sides, I do them separately so you can go back and always watch. Maybe something different that you want to add to your greens, or and it's a delicious. Uh, all those dishes are delicious and very tasteful. So we're gonna plate this up restaurant style, cause you guys, my channel ain't just about cooking. It's not just about cooking. It's about serving your meal restaurant style to your family at home. That is my thing. I also have um drinks on my channel alkaline water you guys i lost 40 pounds on my own and i had surgery so you can check out how i did the 40 pounds doing keto i have keto recipes on this channel 
If you have a man or woman in your house or somebody you know that love a good burger, my burgers is off the chain. Um, I suggest you take a look at that. And my ribs, baby. Some ribs. If your ribs is not where you want them to be or you just want a different taste or a hack or a tip, I suggest that you watch, you know, those recipes. So, you guys, I'll be, right, be back and I'll be back to plate this up because the seafood Cajun um, panini uh, pasta is done. We're just waiting for the sear our uh, salmon fillets and we'll be right back. Hey you guys, this is my seafood Cajun salmon pasta recipe you guys I know it sounds weird but if you haven't tasted it with salmon you must try it I got it from a restaurant you guys and this is the ultimate dish you guys so come watch mama tea and this is going to be delicious you guys with alfredo sauce shrimp salmon crab meat you guys with a side of spinach you guys and this meal is smack licious good delicious you guys so laugh love eat and pray you guys uh is my model for life recipe and we out